LeVar Arrington dressed as a college football Hall of Famer. Shut up. How about that? Shut your mouth. <laughs> what you mean? Hey, LeVar is a scary man. Yeah, he Ooh. Damn right. Shut up. <laughs> he was spooky. <laughs> Both of you kiss my ass. What's wrong? Oh, come on, man. Have a little fun with it. No. Why not? I wish you could just not shut your big yapper. That's right. There you go. Not in the mood for you guys today. Uh, what do you mean? Okay. No, I'm joking. Why, because the Doyers? Come on. <laughs> A lot of happy. applause for the Los Angeles yeah, Dodgers. I'm happy for them. Yeah. yeah. Got it done. Good guy. Uh, was hoping little, for a little him. help from some poor play by the Yankees. <laughs> Oof, but, uh, Jonas talking. Yeah, he was, he's out there dealing. They let him down. Like, dude, run to the run to the base. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? That was him that uh, dropped that, was that fly him. ball in center field. That was him that didn't that run to the first ball. base. You Interesting. Know? Yeah. Huh. They, they sure do love highlighting Judge, don't they? Jeez, yeah, they do. They, I, I mean, mean, he's he's seven five. He is big dude. Like he's almost too big. Like, he's almost it, too big to be a baseball player. <laughs> the guy's massive. God dang, uh, Shohei looks like a a god dang cyborg when he goes up to bat. And he's big too. Like Shohei, yeah, he's not little at all. Yeah, he's not little. Mm-hmm. And he just has like such a nonchalant face. Like he's he's looking at the pitcher. You know what I noticed too? Like I be trying to see little things. He gets his timing of what the pitcher is doing while he's warming up. Like he swings, like he he does his timing of his swing off of the pitcher throwing his pitch. Yeah, I know. Like that. when he's in the uh, on deck circle. Yeah, the deck. Is yeah, that I mean, like is that common? That's really common. That's okay, kind of what well, you there do. You go. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a baseball guy, but I yeah. I like the fact that I saw it. You know. I was I was impressed with myself. Like oh, I always felt like, and have you seen how they put like the additional weights on the bat? Yeah, I kn- I knew that. I it's, knew the whole well, weight thing. But but it's the combination of getting because when you obviously get up there, it's it's very jarring when you're hitting against the guys throwing in the nineties. I never hit against anyone throwing the one hundreds, but we had guys who used to throw in the nineties, and the ball gets on you so quick, you have to mentally pump yourself up. And make your hands feel so fast that when you're when you're in the on deck circle, like swinging a heavier bat, and then trying to feel the the rhythm and timing of that, I, I always felt like helped me get there. Like it helped me get my hands fast enough to the baseball to be able to do that. But um, yeah, it's 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 pretty common. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was uh, it was a fun game to watch uh, just to see all the ups and downs. And then you know the Yankees took a lead late, and you're like, okay, well maybe they'll survive this. And it was like, nope. Just not happening. Uh, wasn't wasn't their night. Wasn't their year. Uh, it was all about the L.A. Dodgers, uh, and uh, it was all about the guy who won the MVP slam dunk, no doubter, oh, yeah. Freddie Freeman, getting the award on Fox afterwards. After everything that you've gone through this year, how special is this? This whole thing, winning it all, the MVP to you. Um, this is this is everything. Um, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be here without the support of everybody in these shirts tonight. Um, it's been a grind these last three months, but this organization, Stan, Andrew, Brandon, Doc, my teammates, my family, it's it's been it's been a lot, and this is this is it right here. Not this, that one, that one. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. I mean, he was already the favorite after the walk off in Game One, and then he just continued to mash. Just mash. <laughs> is that what it is? I mean, he almost yeah. hit home runs last night. He did. He definitely <laughs> like, did. Like they're just like, all right, here's another one. He's like, no problem. I just kept uh, kept. Crushing I thought they it. were going. I thought the Yankees were going to run away with it. I was like, wow, this got ugly quick. Yeah, it? yeah. It looked like early. Maybe they could. Yeah. And- that was the end of that. Uh, Garrett Cole, by the way, did address the fifth inning. Uh, also, the lack of running to first uh, afterwards. Here was his back and forth with the media. Just a wild inning. Um, I mean, they made it tough on us. Just kept putting the ball in play and grinding out pitch after pitch. Um, it, it felt almost, you know, at the end of it, it, almost felt like a win to just, you know, not really give up the lead and, you know, be in a position to keep going. So, boy, that was a tough one, though. What was your impression of what happened at first base? I took a bad angle to the ball. I wasn't sure really off the bat how, how hard he hit it. I took a direct angle to it as if to cut it off. I just didn't know how hard he hit it. And, you know, by the time the ball got by me, you know, I was not in a position to cover first. So, I mean, you know, I mean, 
neither of us were, you know, based on the, the spin of the baseball and him having to secure it and, and, and you know, just a bad, bad read off the bat. Garrett Cole looked He's ex- all right with me, man. He looked exhausted at that the end dude, of that inning. Bruh, uh, he went out over 100 yeah, pitches? Like 108 pitches. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> it's the first time somebody's done that in the World Series. Yeah, in like come on, man. Dude was out two there. Two and a half years. He was or a two, two or three years. Them bitches like, wasn't slow either. He was hitting 99 no. every single time. I'm like, yeah. dang, 99. He was hitting 99 every time. With location. Like, it, like knew where he was throwing it every time. Crazy, man. Yeah. it was. Uh, I hope he knows where he's throwing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably going to get a little wild. It's a problem if he doesn't, you yeah. know. Um, it was uh, – no, that's a lot of – and I'll say this about the Dodgers. Yeah, well, too. Jonas. So they uh, – Why is there not a more excitement from, from our crew behind the scenes? I mean, Lee, Lorena, Eddie, is, is no one that excited? I know Roberto's excited. I know he's probably – Eddie's got right his now, hat but... on, so he's, okay. he's repping. Right. Eddie, right. Eddie's got his hat on. Lee, you know, he just makes sure he knows who Lee is. That's uh, true. Coop's trying to get the the podcast done, and so he can hang out for a bit before he rolls out. I think. Out. Uh, I think. And Lorena has her cow cow deal going on right now, so she's just she's in Halloween. Mood. I, I think yeah, Eddie's also yeah. a little bit upset uh, to see what happened to former Pittsburgh Pirate Garrett Cole last night, mm. Um, mm. and that unfortunate nope. fifth inning. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I mean, come on, guys, flex on everyone. This is your moment. This is that moment in time. Woo! I mean, I mean, nothing, Jonas. You got nothing. I, I mean, what what do I got? They're like, they're, hey, they won the World Series. Congratulations! See, that's L. A. Bro. That's how, the, that's, that's, LA. That's, how, that's how you know he's a Cubs fan. That's too, not true. This is how L. A. Why do you keep bringing are, up the Cubs? Like, I don't know where this comes from. Like, I'm well, just because you're from Mount Monmouth. That's Illinois, a great point. You know, you know, I'm glad you did. Uh, home of Wyatt Earp. Now. Hey, if yeah, I could get a couple yeah. tickets uh, next season, then you can you can help me I, out there. I, I don't know. Maybe you know. Ben oh. depends on uh, depends on what we got. But hmm. you know, what are they going to do with the Yanks? Like, is there going? Are they going to run it back with the same team, or are they going to look at that fifth inning and be like, "Yeah, we got to make some change." Mm-hmm. I, I, apparently, I heard they made those type of mistakes during the year too. Yeah, they were sloppy. some costly. Yeah, some sloppy defensive play. Uh, Juan Soto's a free agent. I don't know if he'll come back because he's going to be really coveted by basically everybody who's looking to spend money. Um, Giancarlo Stanton, like health wise, just can't seem to stay healthy. Their bullpen was a disaster at times. Um, I don't. I think it's more likely the Dodgers are back because the one thing about the Dodgers is, yeah, they you know the payroll. They've got all the talent in the world. Like the top three. I mean, Mookie Betts, Freeman, Otani. Like all those guys are Hall of Famers. But this was a flawed team, and they went through a lot this year to even get to this point. Like whether it's starting the season out in Japan, then having to go back to spring training. In the midst of all that, you find out Otani's interpreter is a degenerate, flunky <laughs> yeah. gambler. Where's he at steal- right now? Yeah, I don't know. I'm mm-hmm. probably stealing more money from somebody. So like Freddie yeah, Freeman, water. <laughs> whoa, well, whoa, well whoa. look at this way. Look, Soto's a free, free agent, right? Torres, Verdugo, all those guys are free. So yeah, it, it it just that's why I think you look at this and you go based on what the Dodgers. The went Dodgers through, are pay though, like well, and that's not a big deal in baseball, right? It, it's if, like it's just you pay, you pay. If you go through their roster this year, like all of the additions they brought in, Yamamoto dealt with injuries this mm-hmm, season. Mm-hmm. Glasnow dealt with injuries this season. Mookie Betts was out for a long time. Yeah. Otani dealt with the injury. Freddie Freeman dealt with the injury. His son got sick. Mm-hmm. Like the bullpen was shaky for most of the year. Then at the deadline, they make these two moves. They bring in Jack Flaherty and they bring in Tommy Edmond, who hadn't played all year because he was coming off surgery. Edmund won the NLCS, and Flaherty ended up with a couple of big performances. He wasn't great last night, but a couple of big performances for him. So I think the front office there deserves a ton of credit because they just kept staying in it, and then at the deadline made a couple of sneaky moves that ended up paying off. So hmm. good for them, man. Uh, so with all that being said, do they run it back? Yeah, and and I think they're going to be better next year because assuming health-wise – Right. Guys like Glass now and everybody is ready to go. I think they're going to be better. But the Yankees year. have to figure it out. Yeah, I don't think the Yankees will be back. Dang. There's a lot going on. Dang. But at least that fan base is going to handle it well. <laughs> so, so close, huh? I mean, you know. I mean, so the so close because they way. got there. It didn't feel like they were really that close at all this series. So so close that they got there. That's, that's yeah. yeah. The boogeyman for the Dodgers was the Padres.